welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So, without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. What's going on Mrs Warner? 7.25s? On a oh, Saturday what? morning. What is going on today? Nothing that exciting. I got up for a wee at about 6.30 this morning. I think it was about quarter past six. And uh, I got back into bed and I picked up my phone. I don't know why I did. And it was just <laughs> Chloe saying, can you help? I was like, what's up? There's something that Aaron's doing today and he needs to be able to print a presentation out. And last night, their computer ran out of ink. So we're off to the office to go and print it out for him. I was gonna go on my own. I didn't even wanna wake Glenn up. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go to the office and print it out. I got out of the shower and, and Glenn was up and ready because he's gonna do some stuff at Chloe's today and he said it was pointless going backwards and forwards and he might as well come now. Anyway, cut a long story short, we're up early on this Saturday morning, off to the office to print some it out and then head into Chloe's. This is when you need to be travelling around, Mr. Warner. It's very quiet on the roads right now. Right, printing done. Glenn's going to do some work around Chloe's today, so he's picked up some tools. Let's go. Oh, there's been some sort of big drama here. Yeah, <laughs> Kiva has, uh, has, has played with uh, kitchen roll. Yeah. Kiva! Naughty Kiva. Oh, don't worry about that. She's just keeping <laughs> She's had fun oh, with no that. Way. Claire's getting ready. We are off for breakfast. She's been to the gym this morning already. And what time did you get to the gym, Claire? Well, we had a bit of an issue. Issue? Arrived. It's meant to open at seven. We yeah. got there at about quarter past seven. Yeah. Mm. Everyone's queuing up outside. <gasps> Someone had a heavy night. Someone obviously. had a heavy night. We were supposed to be opening the gym. They didn't turn up on time. And there was a whole queue of, of people. Yeah. But was there a lot of tutting? Yeah. <laughs> were you the main tutter, no, Chloe? No, no, no. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe? Chloe likes things to be ship shape. So we're off for breakfast and breakfast with Chloe used to be a regular thing but like we haven't done it for ages have we Chloe so yeah before Covid I think it was yeah way Last before Covid, COVID. yeah 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 well it sort of stopped when we went to Milton Keynes really didn't it so anyway we are on our way and Chloe lives the side of Northampton that's nearest Wilton so we're gonna go to Wilton we can't decide whether we're going to Wilton Marina to the cafe there or to the garden centre over the canal yeah and into the garden centre so this is the place we came and I got a notebook when we were moored near here but Chloe came here the other week she came to a children's party and she went ice skating look ice skating here we're not ice skating we're just going to get breakfast look. looks lovely doesn't it look at that Christmas tree that's nice isn't it what colour would you go for would you go for a white one a green one are you traditional would you like a bit of modern so we've had breakfast that was lovely chloe and glenn just we're having a little mooch round a christmas mooch oh look at these cups these are lovely the birthday oracle discover what your birthday says oh let's have a look january the 29th you're a clear-headed logical person with a passion for changing the world well the passion for changing the world i agree with but the clear-headed logical no this is quite true though you're not afraid of talking about subjects that others find shocking i love this little book here you are amazing there's power in looking silly and not caring that you do absolutely 
Would you go pink clothes? No, not for 80 quid. You know, in front of the boat. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that would be very cool, wouldn't it? It does look like a bit of a hurricane in there, yeah. though. Yeah, it's going a bit far. <laughs> you can have a gold mushroom on your tree. Glenn said there's a lot of baubles, and this lovely lady said, I was about to tell you, but I reckon, <laughs> I, can I tell you, I'll put it even more. You get it right, yeah. I'll buy you a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> If he gets it wrong, yeah. I could get him to sweep the bauble area. Oh. oh, well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, really quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. My battery's going flat. Make it quick. Make it quick, Glenn. I reckon there's... Um, quick, quick. 2,600. Oh, gosh. You're miles out. I reckon 5,000. You're closer. I reckon 7,500. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I was so close! Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Glenn's got to sweep up because he lost the bet big bit. time. <laughs> the ladies just told me there's some donkeys. Let's go check it out. Oh, these are so cute. Look at them. Oh. Oh, yeah, they are. He is super cute with his ears. Look at those ears. Oh, that was lovely. I've got these two little bits for Layla for Christmas, but let's go. I really like that garden centre. If you're in the area, check them out. They got donkeys and everything. Anyway, we're heading back to Chloe's. We got to stop off at, uh, at Wicks because Glenn needs some stuff because he's doing some work at Chloe's. So come on, let's go. There was such a queue to get in the shops. I jumped out of the car and said to Glenn, he's going somewhere else. I said, I'll nip into Sainsbury's. Oh, everywhere's so busy. Anyone would think Christmas is coming. Oh my goodness, it's crazy traffic. But I've managed to get my parcel. This looks very busy. Chloe. Let's go. So I'm at Chloe's. We're gonna be here for a while because Glenn's doing doing stuff. Let me show you this. So you know that I'm, I'm only supposed to have 33 items because I'm doing project 33. Well, I, I may have made a purchase. Look at this. What do we think? I've got to try it on. Hopefully, if it fits, I will wear it tonight to the Christmas zoo I'm going to. <laughs> Chloe's just bought an extra large dog bed and it's not quite as large as she wanted. Man on a mission. Dogs are going to go and help. Apart from Moose. Moose is going to sit here and help me video edit. Expanding foam all the way along that edge. A nice flow. I think that's enough to stop. I don't think that's going to be the way. I didn't think that was too bad for a first attempt. <laughs> that, that's, that's not even expanded yet, believe it or not. Someone is cutting up the insulation. <laughs> To Louise from Narrow Boat Changing Pace, who's still stuck on a boat in a river that's in flood. I was just checking in, see if she was okay. Anyway, we were chatting and she mentioned the sound of music. Uh, it was a random conversation. Anyway, Chloe has just said, I've never seen the sound of music. And I was like, Chloe, it's one of my best films. Anyway, we're going to go and see if we can find it on the telly. On and Chloe is going to love it. You're going to love this, Chloe. Am I? You are. You're going to love it. Here we go. Here we go. 1965. That was even before Dad was born. <laughs> Two hours, 56 minutes. They knew how to make a film in those days, Chloe. Here she is. They don't make films like this anymore, Chloe. Get ready for it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Here we go. I can't believe she watches TV. That is so funny. Hello, it's Chloe. 
it's Louise from Now About Changing Pace. Hi Lisa, just thought I'd do a quick update for you, for Chloe, for your viewers. It's Saturday. We have been on this pontoon, it's about 100 foot long, since Monday. So that's what, six days. The problem with the river seven is it's on winter passage timetable and there's not enough time to go from Stour Port on seven all the way through to Gloucester. So what happened we came to this lock um, and then it flooded and then we went into the red and then we were unable to move. We could at that point still get off the boat however um, we're only on six steps on the second flight. Somewhere in there, somewhere in that, that, that water is another flight of stairs. We can't get off the boat now. So me and the dogs are, what, 100 foot by eight foot. Anyway, we're okay. It's due to rain tonight. Water levels are due to um, go down on Monday. Not by much. Take care, look after yourself, and I will see you soon. Hopefully on Friday, because that's when they're meant to be going to Lincoln. If not, on Saturday, because that's when the Christmas vloggers do is. And if not, I'll pop in and see you on Sunday. But honestly, I'm not sure we're going to get off the pontoon this weekend. Take care. Bye, guys. They finished insulating the roof. Glenn is just fixing the heater to the wall. This should be a warm and cosy space so that you can use it in winter, my darling. What are you thinking of uh, the sound of music so far? Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's toasty and warm in here. You have done a very good job. It's a start. It's a start. It's not finished. <laughs> Definitely but awesome. it's nice and warm in here now. Right, let's go. We've got to get ready for a party. So I've got my new dress on and my necklace. I think it looks all right. The dress costs £10. I feel it's a bargain. And Mr. Warnarts looks so handsome. He really does. Anyway, we are out tonight for the Secret Gardens Christmas do. We've wrangled an invite, so come on. Let's go. So we're here at the restaurant. We've had our starter. Well, guess what? They didn't give us any plates. Mick, did you get a plate? No plate. No plate. No plate. Julie, did you get a plate? No. You had to make your own plate out of that napkin, didn't you? Yeah. D. I didn't get any bread. <laughs> no. <laughs> you had prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. I didn't get any triangle bread. Little, or, no. Or a and, and a bowl. And yeah, no plate. No plate. Deb. No plate. No plate. No you you, you had didn't get anything. <laughs> you, you, you didn't get anything. Glenn. No bread. No bread. And I got this littlest bowl. Yeah, don't no, no plates. We're wondering what the main course is going to come out on. <laughs> Did you get a plate? Did you? Just these. <laughs> We got a plate for our main course. And it's got fish and chips. Jill's got and a plate. Oh, and a little dish. Got Jill's got all the stuff. And we've all gone, mainly pork, pork belly. Right. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, you, no, you're coming with me. We're on our way home now. That was a lovely evening. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Sunday. We are off out this morning. We're heading over to my mum's because my mum's friend, my mum and a couple of others were on a breakfast club on a Sunday morning. We're heading over there for breakfast. It rained a lot last night, but it stopped, and it's actually not that cold this morning. Two Newfoundlands just going past. I am pretty sure that my brother's Newfoundland, who is in Somerset, I'm sure like the brother and sister of their Newfoundland comes from Wellingborough. If so, that could be them. Let's go get some breakfast. So we're here at <laughs> Breakfast Club. We're early. We're early. We're first in the queue. 
Mum's here. She's got a pinny. Pinny on. <laughs> you're cooking away, aren't I'm you? Cooking, yeah. You're cooking, cooking. <laughs> you're selling raffle I'm tickets. Selling raffle, tickets. <laughs> raffle tickets. What are the raffle tickets for? Uh, it's for the Box Gardens Christmas party. Oh, excellent. We will definitely get some uh, raffle tickets. <laughs> And I like them bacon well done as well. Oh, he's fussy. There's always one. Do you want to get hard or soft? ready? That was a good way to start the day. I got to see my mum and got a bacon sandwich. All good. I do love some of the residents where my mum lives. They're very funny. I like them lots. Right. We are going to stop at Sainsbury's on the way back. I want to get something for dinner, but also I want to try and get a piece of meat and some vegetables that I can cook today and then use leftovers till at least Wednesday. Let's go, Mr. Warner. So that's it, shopping purchased. It's been on Sundays, never yeah, a good idea. No, let's when you're looking for a life full of meaning that ain't it you don't find it in the supermarket no, on a no, sunday no. no i bought some cream and i'm gonna make my own butter i'm gonna give it a go butter it's almost as expensive as gold did you say butter butter yeah sorry butter butter righty i'm off for a walk mr warner's upstairs he's doing some painting when i come back i'm gonna cook a roast dinner but come on let's go There's a balloon trapped in a tree. Do you know, I've owned this mixer for over 20 years. It's, it's been well used and well loved. And yet I've never used this attachment. But I think this is one I need to make butter. Right, here we go. Double cream. How much did this cost? Let me have a look. Right, let's us look. Double cream, £2.30 for 600 ml. Now, a block of butter is running about £2.50. We'll do a price comparison at the end. Right, is this gonna work? And it's off. I'm not sure that's the right attachment. It's not going very quick. I've just stopped it. I've realised I needed to have added some salt. So I'll do that now. Right, salt added. Let's go. Yeah, that's really not working. But let me show you this amazing sky out there. Look at that. It is beautiful. Anyway back to the cream that is nowhere near butter this is clearly not working i'm resorting to the hand mixer see if i can get some luck with that right let's give this a go in less than a minute we're getting somewhere look within just a couple of short minutes it's changing. I mean, it is flicking cream everywhere. This is getting somewhere. Okay, I've got to drain the buttermilk out. I mean, look at the state of the place. Look at the state of it. Right, I've drained the buttermilk and this is what I'm left with. Now you've got to like wash it in ice cold water to get the buttermilk off because that will turn it rancid in just a couple of days if you leave that on. 303 grams of butter cost me £2.30. And in Sainsbury's, 250 grams cost £2.45. So it's cheaper to make your own. You get more for your money. All that's left is for Mr Warner to do a taste test. Oh yeah, and me to do the washing up. What's it taste like? Please say delicious butter. Yeah. So, I'll tell you, I think you could have done with some more salt. Well done. Right, after my butter success, I have got this joint of beef, which I want us to make last three meals, tonight, tomorrow, and Tuesday. I want to cook it in the pressure cooker. I'm slightly nervous about that. Right, I'm just searing the beef first. 
I'm saying this confidently, like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, not a clue. I'm following some instructions, but let's just see where this takes us. Okay, beef is in, on the rack. Close the lid. Right, pressure cooker is heating. Slightly nervous. That's looking all right. Oh my goodness, the beef is amazing. Good morning and welcome to Monday. I oh, know, I don't usually do this, but I thought, hey, let's do it. About half seven, and then I've got to go to work. It's a thing of beauty made by my lovely Dura machine that Mrs. Warner bought me for my 50th birthday. Made Mrs. Warner a black coffee, and mine's a flat white. So I'll be off to work, be back about 4.30, not sure what's going on later. Could be a busy week towards the end of the week, but let's see how the week Unfold. Good morning and welcome to Monday. This means two things. Work in the morning, gym at midday. Let's get my laptop opened and do some work and then the afternoon is my own. I've just finished work. I've ran over a little bit. Just packed my computer away. I've been doing some good work today. The parish council that I work for run these free drop-in advice sessions. It's a a really good service. I've just done a leaflet so that people can see all the advice sessions that are going on. Come on, let's go. Do you know the sun is shining? No rain today, so come on, let's go. Well, Joe, it is Monday. Comes again. around quick, yeah. doesn't it? I've just done a warm up on the treadmill. What's in store today? Well, we're going to do the lap pull again. We're oh, going to love gonna that. Do that. I love it. that. It makes me feel strong. We're come good. on. Let's go. Let's go. Right, all the way down there on 75 again. Let's do it. Joe's like, lay, lay down and relax after that uh, strenuous work. So, what are we doing now, Joe? So, I'm going to lift it down. Okay. Let's do that. Four lots of 12. Four lots of 12. And oh, let's do it. So you're doing them that way. So you turn that way. That way. And then you just lift the set down and then up. And then in line with your chest. <laughs> and you go like it. I did that all right, didn't I, Joe? Yeah, yeah. Good. I like the laying down bit. It was, it was comfortable. Good. We're gonna lie down again. Oh man, I like a laying down exercise. Anyway, what are we up to? A glue fridge. Okay. And you're gonna stick your leg out as well. Oh, okay. So you're gonna lift your bum. Yeah. Raise your leg. Okay. Back. Okay. Do your other leg. Okay. And down. Okay. Joe, what are we doing next? We're doing a Russian twist. Okay. With a twist. Okay, go on. So, we're going to hit it this side. We're yeah. going to lift it up. Okay. Down. Down. Okay. Yeah. Let's give that a go. Give it a go. Four sets of 12. Four sets of 12. Let's do it. That's me done at the gym. My arms are so heavy. I don't know if I'll be able to move them tomorrow. Anyway, good session. I am in, I'm starving. I'm gonna cook some scrambled egg on toast. Mm, I love this scrambled egg on toast. I'm gonna use some homemade butter. I still cannot believe I made my own butter. I'm well chucked with it. Anyway, toast, scrambled egg, homemade butter. Oh, it's like the food of kings. Oh man, that scrambled egg was so good. Oh, it was so good. Obviously it was the butter. It was the butter that made it. While I'm in the kitchen, I am gonna get some dinner going on for tonight. In the cupboard, we have a whole load of baked beans. I never use them. I always forget they're there. And I've got some of that leftover beef. So I'm gonna do some sort of tomatoey baked bean barbecue thing. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet. I'm going to use the slow cooker function on the machine of dreams and yeah I'm going to see what I can make. It's going to be a sort of throw everything in and let's let's see how it goes. Air fry, grill, bake, dehydrate, that's the one I want. I'm going to leave it on this, I don't know how to change it. So I'm going to add some baked beans, I've got some 
beef stock that I saved from the pressure cooker yesterday and some onion chutney. I'm going to add a spoonful of the onion chutney. Maybe two spoonfuls. I'm going to put it on the slow cook function for four, I think that's four hours. Hopefully not four minutes. I've chopped up some of this leftover beef from yesterday and I'm going to throw it in the slow cooker. It's smelling good. It's not looking that appetising. Oh man, that tastes really good. It's like barbecue-y. Right, I've got a bit left for tomorrow's dinner. I'll pop that back in the fridge. Got a bit of cabbage going on and some potatoes. So I'm going to do a sort of cabbagey mash. Oh, Mrs Warner. Mr Warner. Quick, shut the door, it's cold out there. Yes, I've got feet as well. So, I've got some of the buttermilk. I'm going to put it in the potatoes and mash it. This dinner is not looking attractive, but I've tasted it and it tastes amazing. Good morning to you and welcome to Tuesday. Mr Warner, he's just fired up the coffee machine. Oh yes, we're gonna need that this morning. We are both off to work and I don't even normally work on a Tuesday. Well, not from the office anyway. But today I'll volunteer to deliver some magazines. So we're both going to work and then I'm gonna do some work in the office this afternoon. So yeah, come on, let's go. It's a bit misty and foggy today. Five degrees. Five degrees, it don't actually feel that cold outside, does it? Right, it's 20 past nine and I'm off to deliver some of the community magazines that the parish council that I work for publishes. Glenn sent me a, a map. I'm heading off to Coninborough, which is a, a local estate. There's some flats on the estate where the delivery company won't deliver. Off we go. I've got an audio book. I've got my headphones. It has just started to rain. Great. It doesn't matter though. Come on, let's go. I'm doing all right. There's so many blocks of flats and, and I'll like go in one entrance and come out the other and I'm like, did I just do that? Did I do that one? It's so confusing. I've done quite well on, on delivering the magazines. Do you want to have a look at it? The front cover, that was a photo competition winner that was. There's so much that goes on in this parish. It's unbelievable. Anyway, Coninborough Community Hub is on on a Tuesday, so I'm gonna go in. Delicious soup and a roll. It's a tasty pit stop. Oh, I can't walk past the notice board without looking at the stuff that I've designed. Oh, that's such a lovely community event. So the parish that I work for, they're doing something called warm spaces. So because the electricity has gone sky high, a lot of people are struggling to heat their homes. So. The parish council have worked with other churches, community centres, organisations within the parish to open their doors to provide like a warm space but also something hot to eat and drink. I had some delicious soup. It was lovely. Oh, just I love communities when they come together like that. It's amazing. And that was really well attended. I couldn't take many pictures because there was a lot of young children and, and their parents. So I didn't really want to be taking pictures. But anyway, I'm going back to the office now to do some proper work. Right, that's work done for today, Mr. Warner. It's dark, isn't it? Going home in the dark at four o'clock. Do you know what? These winter days, they make me hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Right, let's see what we can cook for dinner. We've got a little bit of that beef left, but I'm thinking of just basically throwing a load of stuff in the pot. Is it a Christmas card? No, oh, my first Christmas card. Not from your mum. From my mum. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. It's not, it's not. Glenn speaking to Naomi. I'm firing up the machine of dreams. This is what I've got. Peppers, onion, some of that beef, some ham, and this. Okie dokie. We'll just fry that a bit more. And I made this using soy sauce, sesame oil, a bit of fish sauce, and a good dollop of Jeff's chili jam. And goes the rice. Right, I'm going to throw in the egg and then shut that and cook for a minute. 
It's amazing that one little packet of rice can stretch so far. Good morning to you and welcome to Wednesday, which Glenn has renamed... Whiny Wednesday. Whiny Wednesday. I'm not whining. Well, I am a little bit because do you know what? My cardigan has taken too long to dry and it's smelling a bit musty. No one wants to smell a bit musty. It's not, it's not the smell I'm going for. This Friday, we are going to Lincoln Christmas Market with our friends Louise and Dave. Whether Louise and Dave can get here is another thing. You'll remember that Louise is marooned on a pontoon on a river. This is a long story, bear with. She has to ring up today to see if she can book in tomorrow to go through the lock. If they say no, we're not going to Lincoln on Friday. Me and Glenn are off to work. I've said to Louise, message me as soon as you know. With that said, let's head off to work. Well, I'm just uh, keeping Mr. Warner entertained on our journey to work, as always, by asking him lots of questions. He loves it, even though he says he doesn't. I'm sure he does. Anyway, I've just asked, how do you see 2023 going? Go one or two ways, Mrs. Warren. It's either going to be a blistering success or a terrible failure. <laughs> Nothing in between then. It's going to be one of those. I'll go with the blistering success, Mr. Warner. Oh, well, that's us finished for the day. For the week. For the week, so actually. For the week. And I've got some exceptionally good news. Louise, from that rowboat change in pace, can go through the lock tomorrow, which means she can be with us on Friday, which means we can go to Lincoln Christmas Market, which means she can come to the Vloggers Christmas too. So, we've come in. I've sent the email newsletter out. And now, we're heading down the pub to see our friends. Out into the cold, cold night. It's almost time to bring in our Christmas tree that I've been nurturing for four years. Here we are at the Colin Tree. It's good to be here. Here's our friends. We're coming home from the pub. It's late and look, and there's a random robot returning back to the shop. I'm sure they stopped taking orders at eight o'clock. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. This is going to be known as Busy Thursday. There is a whole list of jobs that need to be done today. So much so, Mr Warner is refusing to get out of bed because he don't even want to get started on the list. Why is it busy today? It's busy today because Louise and Dave are coming for the weekend. It's the vloggers Christmas party and we're going to Lincoln Christmas Market tomorrow. Louise and Dave are staying here. So I need to tidy up essentially. I need to get the bed changed. I need to do a million jobs. That's not all though. I want to go over to Braunston, go to the venue where we're having the Christmas meal, pay like the balance so we don't need to worry about it on the day. What I hate the most when you go out for a meal with like lots of people and then at the end of the meal there's that like calculations and it's like it comes to you know however much and then someone says oh i didn't have i didn't drink or i didn't have a pudding or i can't be doing with it I can't be doing with it so everybody has sent over the money for the meal i've paid the deposit i want to pay the balance before saturday so it's done with then we can just all turn up and have a great time. I also want to get over and see my mum today and there's also stuff that needs to happen at the office. Harry's gonna pop in. There's just lots, lots of little jobs crammed into one 24 hour day. So let's see how we get on. Guess who's here? Harry's here and Layla. She's been feeling a bit poorly. <laughs> you wouldn't think it. Yeah. She's got a bit of a yeah, so she's not at school today, but but she's recovering well, aren't you? Only um, Oya is at school. Have you been to see Auntie Debbie? Yeah. And did she give you a spider? 
Yeah. He's lost a leg. He's lost a leg. Let's have a closer he's look. Lost a of... uh, he's lost a couple of legs. Oh. On the other side. On the other side. There you go, Doug. So it was lovely to see Harry and Layla. And even though Layla's got a temperature, she was in high spirits. So that is good. Right, we're going to get our coats on. I'm going to drop Glenn off at the office. I'm going to go and see my mum for a cup of tea. Then pick Glenn up. And then, and then we'll consult the list. See you in a bit, Mr. Warner. I'm just dropping him off at the office. Now on to my mum's for a cup of tea and a ketchup. <laughs> Look who I've my just daughter. seen. Oh, that's my daughter. Oh, it's nice and warm in here, mum. So cold outside. You've been out this morning? Yeah, I've been out. I'd said to mum the other day, I needed a Christmas list because I didn't want to buy her something she didn't want. So anyway, mum was just saying some things, some ideas. And then she said, and that's CD by Andre. And I went, Agassi? No, he's a tennis player. No, not a singer. He's not a singer. Alrighty, I've seen my mum. Back to pick Glenn up now. My arms are still killing me. For me activity at the gym on Monday. That's seriously hurting. Anyway, let's go pick up Glenn. Great news. The printer can fit us in to do some printing. So I'm just walking these boxes down. I've got a squeaky old trolley. It's just down the tunnel. I've just dropped all the parcels off in the post bag. And uh, the lady on reception said to me, Oh, don't forget they're on strike today. I was like, oh, I forgot that. Anyway, they're in the post bag. We are off to Braunston now. It's very foggy. We're just going through this village called Long Buckby. Oh, low bridge. We almost touched there. Oh, my goodness. I, can't see if I think he's done that before. Here we are at the boat house. This is where we are having the boat vloggers Christmas do. We are heading back to Northampton now on this foggy, foggy road. Hello, good morning and welcome to this fantastic Friday. Oh yes. We are off to Christmas, no we're not off to Christmas, we're off to Lincoln Christmas Market with our friends Louise and Dave, who will be arriving soon. I'm just having a quick tidy up because they're staying here tonight and we're going to go and stay at Chloe's. I'm just getting guest ready, you know, I'm even cleaning the floors. So I am making us some sandwiches to take with us. I don't do this very often, but we have lots of butter, we have some rolls, we have loads of ham, we have loads of cheese. I was like, let's take it with us. Come oh, on in. I, I love the way that you always travel light, you guys. Oh. <laughs> I've got a Lincoln bag, a wash bag, a last minute bag. <laughs> Louise has her Christmas dress on. Look at this. This is one you ordered last time you came to Northampton, yeah, isn't it? Went to yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very lovely. I like it lots. Wear it all three days, get, all three days get your money's worth. Yeah. If you come to the vloggers party tomorrow, you'll see Louise wearing her Christmas dress. We're very different people, aren't we? So you're packing your bag to go to Lincoln, and so far you've said you've got torch. I've got a torch, deodorant, and drink. She, she's got so much in this I've bag. Got Christmas hat, coat, polo, slip chat. You've got it all. What have you got in your bag? I haven't got a bag. Well, I've got some sandwiches in, in the bag, but I've got my phone in one pocket. Oh, I and oh, in my other pocket will be oh. this camera. And we're off. Woo! Lincoln, here we come. In that, in that bag, did you have three nail files? <laughs> well, this isn't what we wanted on our way to Lincoln. It's a two hour car journey anyway, but it's taking a little bit longer than expected. We're free! We're out of the traffic jam. Let's get going. Uh, we, we're uh, just going past the convoy of tanks. This feels like the longest journey I've been on ever. 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 We are here. We were very lucky with the car parking space. Of course we were. We had Glenn driving. We pulled in. We got the last space in the centre of Lincoln. Let's go. Right, there's a big hill coming up. 
we're splitting up because Glenn obviously as we know can't can't walk slow we're halfway up and this is where the hill gets really steep the imperial tea and coffee importers <coughs> There's still more hill to go. We've made it to the top of the hill. It's actually called Steep Hill, and they ain't lying. I'm really happy I made it all the way up without stopping. Wait, that's right. We're doing the cathedral I first today. The you did, well done, well done. Oh, it is still as impressive as I remembered it from last time. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Let's have a look around. This building is so impressive. They started building it in 1080 something and then it fell down in about the 1300s and then they rebuilt it. It's just magnificent. This is the building from around the other side just goes on and on can you imagine what it'd be like to be in there for the midnight service on Christmas Eve so I've just had a peek inside it is absolutely amazing we are definitely coming back and I want to do a proper take it all in that when the market's on is not when to do it let's have a look in here Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Merry Christmas, Claire! Ching ching! <laughs> so here we go through the castle walls into the Christmas market. What's your favourite thing about the Christmas market, Louise? I met Dave here. Oh! As it turned out, he didn't turn out to be such a bad cat, so I did talk to him. <laughs> purchase at the Linkers Christmas market was Dave's gloves. Oh! He didn't bring any gloves and it was freezing. Oh! Glenn, what you got there? Oh, almonds with cinnamon. Delish. Let's have a look. It's not a cow, it's a reindeer. You open his bottom and you put candle in him and then you hang him outside. No, oh, he's lovely. Louise is going for a cocktail. What are you going for, Louise? Oh, does it taste like you're on holiday? Oh, everyone loves a bean of colada. Traditional German sausage. Glühwein. Now, here's a question. Do you prefer hot mulled wine or hot spice cider? I prefer the cider. we got Father Christmas over there. Oh, look. We found the sausage roll plate. I've found everything now. They've got mould gin. I was just thinking about half an hour ago, thank goodness it's not raining because that would really spoil an event like today. And guess what? It's just started raining. Yeah, I cursed it. It's now absolutely pouring. Oh, it just gets you in the festive mood, doesn't it? Love it. Let's have a look in the craft marquee. Here we are. We went on that last year, didn't we? We did. It was a lot darker. It there, was, yeah. yeah. It was later. Gonna get Mr. Warner a gorgeous hat. Look how smart he'll look in that. Can get in a pot. Oh, yeah. oh, look. What do you want? Oh, perfect. Yeah. How lucky are we right so we go into the pub everyone's trying to fight for a table and as we leave there's this little barn that's got heaters and seats i mean it's empty look it's like empty and the lady says oh you can go in there but you just got to go to the bar and no your drinks we're like really so i can't own a personal space to sit down and have a drink unbelievable how lucky are we merry christmas merry christmas mess mess messy christmas a merry christmas <laughs> that was fabulous we had beer we had to sit down in the warm and now we are we had a little chat we had a little laugh and now now we've almost we've almost done the route just the craft market left and then we'll be heading back to the car. 
The Greek at home. Turkish. Turkish. Sorry. Turkish. Sorry. Sorry. Turkish. Sorry about that war. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just looking around the arts and bark market. I've come across Ed. All these books. Ed, tell us, tell us about your books. Okay, so this is the first, Firestone is the first book in the series of the Law of Tellers series. Where can people get the book? You can get them in any bookshop, you can order from any bookshop, you can get them online, there's all the books, Amazon and all that sort of stuff, but yeah. Lovely. You books, you should be able to buy these books. Lovely. Looks fascinating. So, I'm buying two books for Ryan, and Ed is very kindly signing them. Ryan is going to absolutely love that. So, yeah, brilliant. That's another Christmas present sorted. That restaurant looks lovely, doesn't it? Little bookshop. Advent Reef Festival. I've never ever been in Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's beautiful, look at all the leaves. It's a church, like tucked in amongst the shops. The cathedral looks amazing lit up. Glenn, did you have a chat with the uh, priest in yeah, the church? Yeah, so our uh, boiler's broken and I did offer to have a look, but <laughs> have a look see, but yeah. So two pots. Yeah. Both with milk chocolate, yeah. vanilla fluff, yeah. and then can I have um, meringue drops and caramel cups on both of those, please? Yeah. We're, we're going milk chocolate. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm my coat up because that's going to go on my dress. <laughs> and then that one for Glenn. Oh man, it's like heaven. Did you go for the fluff pot too? Or did you go hot oh, chocolate? Sorry, no, I did go for the pot. I, I don't know what you did go for the pot. The fluff pot. The fluff pot. Look at that. That is just amazing. Thank you so much. Glenn, what do you think? Look, look. Cheers. 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 Is that just heaven? Heaven in a pot? So we're just finishing our visit by a short stroll along the canal. So that is Lincoln done for another year. I think we'll put the date in the diary for next year for sure. But that's it for this week. So we'll catch you later. Oh my goodness, Mr. Warner. What a week that was. We're filming this at Chloe's and we are just leaving to go and pick up Louise and Dave and head to Broadston for the Boat Vloggers Christmas do, which you'll see in next week's video. So we're gonna leave it here. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead and we'll see you next week. Bye. Take care, bye.